Hello again everyone and welcome back to another episode of Drawing Fire Emblem Heroes. And this week I got a character I actually know from a game I've actually played. Wow! <laughs> Anyways, yeah, it's Lucina from Fire Emblem Awakening, which is great. But this is Brave Lucina, you know, from Choose Your Legends. Uh, I don't know which version it was from, but I think this is the first Brave Hero I got because I know I did have a two year gap between me first playing Faye and then picking it up again because I, I don't know for some reason I sort of dropped off the Fire Emblem radar for a bit mainly because I had a bit of trouble with Conquest and uh, we, we don't talk about that we don't talk about how long I was stuck on Conquest and this is back when I was in college and uh, I bought, I think it was near the end of the year, I'd done all my work so I bought my 3DS in to just chill, you know, to attend the lessons but to just chill and they saw me stuck on this one chapter and they were just there like, oh, how many turns do you want? I was on like 100 plus turns at this point and I was trying not to give up but yeah, I pushed on and I eventually managed to beat the chapter the next day. <laughs> Anyways, Lucina, she's pretty cool. I mean, if you play through Awakening and your female Robin and you pair your female Robin with Krom, Lucina can actually be your daughter. It leads to a very heartbreaking scene where Lucina has seen everything that's happened and knows what's gonna happen. And she doesn't want to bring herself to do so, but she confronts her mother and Robin's just there like, well, if you need to kill me so that the future can be saved, please go ahead and do so. I want you to be happy. And I'm like, uh... <laughs> And then Lucina's like, no, I can't. And it's, oh, oh my god. I like Awakening. I wish I could go back and replay it, but, you know, the menus are a bit small. I kind of hope they do a HD remaster of it in the near future, especially for like the Switch or if there's going to be a next generation of Switch, which is probably far off into the future, but I would love to see these models A with feet <laughs> and you know, B see the story in an engine like Engage has, because Engage's engine is just, it's so smooth, I've barely had any lag, like I do get lag on Engage sometimes but nowhere near as bad as it was in three houses yeah i just feel like if we got the awakening artist back you know yusuke kozaki absolute legend we saw the models we see in the cutscenes used in the actual game engine ah uh, i think it would be a great remake or remaster for a great game and yeah i could i could see fates getting a remake as well that would be good. Give give Fate some love. Remaster that story because Revelations was a mess. I feel this 3DS era for Fire Emblem was pretty pretty good. So yeah, uh, Awakening, great game. I highly recommend it. Uh, unfortunately, if you haven't done so already, the eShop does close next month. If you haven't picked up Awakening yet, I highly recommend doing so because the physical copies are only going to go up in price after the eShop closes, unfortunately. I uh, also recommend picking up Fates, but unfortunately I think some of the DLC has been taken off by time of recording this, so... You might just have missed out on playing Revelations, which... Unless you can get yourself a physical copy, which um, unfortunately... The uh, 3 and 1 does go for a lot more now than it used to, but but uh, yeah, unfortunately that's just how the way Nintendo rolls. Game preservation is not a priority. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this week. Hopefully I get a male character soon because so far it's just been women everywhere. I've, I've not seen a single man. Help, please help. I, I just want to see a man appear on Fire Emblem Heroes. That's all I ask for. Yeah, that's it for this week anyways. And I'll see you all in the next one. See ya!